guys, this is Lisha Bata and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be super interesting. It's something that I've never tried before. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers try out these worst rated products of e-commerce websites. So what I thought I'd do is I'll do this full makeup look using the cheapest products. And since Nykaa has a huge portfolio when it comes to makeup, I decided to try out products from their website. Now I'm someone who believes that good products need not cost you an arm and a leg, but some of these products that I saw were dirt cheap. Hi guys, this is Lisha from the past. Don't mind my makeup, I'm just testing out a few products. So now I'm going to head to the Nykaa app and start adding things to my cart. I'm not going to buy a moisturizer, I'm going to use my usual moisturizer. So I'm just going to quickly start with the primer and I am sorting out the product from low to high. Okay, so the cheapest one is the Insight Cosmetics 3-in-1 Long Lasting Primer. I'm going to add this to the bag. Then comes the concealer. So the cheapest one is the Blue Heaven Expression Makeup Stick and it is just for 95 rupees. What even? Next we have foundation. So the cheapest one is the Blue Heaven Waterproof Makeup Foundation with SPF and they only have two shades. <laughs> I'm gonna use the shade Natural. I think this is gonna be a disaster. So we are done. Let's see what our cart looks like. The total value of the cart is 1991 rupees. That's like under 2000 bucks. So there's a hot pink sale going on, but even if it wasn't, the original cost of the cart was rupees 2183 rupees. That's just crazy. I even bought a setting spray and a primer and a liner and an eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to proceed and place the order. So I have all the products with me in this box. Uh, most of the products were delivered very quickly, but the blush took a bit of time. Now I haven't tried any of them and I will be trying them out for the first time with you guys on camera. So it's going to be like a first impression. I'll be very honest, I'm very nervous, especially when it comes to the eyeshadow and the base makeup because I could not really get good products from what I could tell, but who knows, they might just end up surprising me. So I've already moisturized my face and let's begin. So the first step is the primer and I got this primer by Insight. This cost me only rupees 240. So let's see how well this performs. Now I've never tried this brand. In fact, most of the products in this haul are brands that I've never tried before. So I'm going to take some bit on my hand and I'm going to apply this all over my face focusing it majorly around my cheeks and my T-zone area. And this says it primes, protects and moisturizes. Wow, it feels very silicone-y. Now, I don't mind silicones in my primers, but I know a lot of people whose skin get irritated with it. In fact, uh, the Benefit Professional is loaded with silicones. But I don't really mind the consistency, but it just feels really silicone -y, which is great for a primer because that's going to fill up your fine lines and of course going to give a very smooth base for your makeup to go on. My skin is already feeling smoother and softer after this primer. So the next step is the foundation and I got this one by Blue Haven. It's a waterproof foundation and I got the shade Natural. So this cost me only rupees 75 bucks. Can you even believe it? A foundation for 75 rupees. Can you see the color? This is totally orange. This is not my shade at all. This is pure coral color. So I don't know, on my display, it looks like my shade, but trust me, it's not. It is completely coral and it has no coverage whatsoever. It literally is blending into nothing. Guys, there's no coverage whatsoever. I'm going to try it with a brush. So I took quite a bit of it on my hands and it just blend into nothing. I think the coverage is just slightly better with my brush but not much because there's hardly any pigment so I'm not really getting much of a coverage then I'm just gonna go in with my sponge 
and dab it because I can see some streaks with my brush which is again weird this does not happen uh, with my other foundations but then again it is 75 bucks I can't really expect much so as you can see my skin has evened out a bit but I have to use a lot of foundation and this area is constantly itching so ee. So next is the concealer and for this I got the Blue Heaven makeup stick. I figured I'd use this as a concealer as well as an eye makeup base. So the shade that I got is 03 which is natural. This is not my shade. It looks super pale but let's see. Can you even see it on my skin? It hardly shows up. There is no pigment, there is no coverage whatsoever. What the hell is this? So I am just putting this very, very, very harshly on my face because otherwise the pigment is not showing up. And then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge and pray to the gods for some coverage. So the next step is powder. I certainly need to control all this oil, which is weird because the foundation was supposed to be oil free. Um, next, I have the Blue Heaven Artisto Compact. The shade's not bad, it's a beautiful beige colour which is what suits me the most. So I'm going to apply this with my own sponge, I'm not going to use the flimsy puff it came with and this cost rupees 105 bucks. Okay, I think this is salvaging my look a bit. It's definitely mattifying my skin a bit. So mostly I apply powder on my T-zone and my eye but because this is looking so oily, I'm going to apply it all over my face. So I'm done with the base makeup. I did like the compact. My skin is looking matte which is what I like. It was too oily earlier. Now I'll move on to the eye makeup. For the brows, I've gotten the Blue Heaven Expressions Eyebrow Pencil. I did get a lot of product from Blue Heaven because it was apparently the cheapest in all the categories. So it's a very tiny eyebrow pencil. It's jet black in color. So I'm already accused of having very boxy brows. What do you think is going to happen with this jet black eye pencil? I'm anyway not very comfortable using eyebrow pencils. I prefer eyeshadows or pomades. But I'm going to try my level best. It's too dark and it's too pigmented. Now this one's more darker than this one. I'm just going to even it out a bit. And then I'm going to take a spoolie and brush through my eyebrow, hoping it would soften it. Because I have like a lot of harsh lines going through my eyebrows. It's smudging so badly, it's coming out of the periphery of my brow and I'm only and only focusing it on the brow bit. What is this? If you guys thought my brow sucked before, this is like the new level of sucking then. So my brows are looking really bad. What I'm going to do is take a concealer brush, try and get some pigment out of this makeup base and I'm going to conceal my edges a bit, especially because the pencil ended up smudging quite a lot. Do you see how ashy this is? It looks a bit better, but it's still very dark and really bad. And the oil is coming back in just like what, 10 minutes? So moving on to the eyeshadow, I was quite confused on what to buy. Had I purchased the Wet n Wild Mono eyeshadows, then the price would have gone really high. So I ended up buying yet again a Blue Heaven product. So this is the Blue Heaven eyeshadow palette. It has about 12 shades and the reviews were actually pretty good. And this costs Rs 135. This is what the packaging looks like. And these are the shades. This smell so strong, the fragrance is so strong and so annoying. I can't believe I'm about to put this on my eyes. So I'm going to use this neutral shade 
this orangey burnt brown shade and hope for the best neutral eye makeup is always a good idea especially when you don't have good eye shadows ah it's showing up well this is showing up really well and the fallout is just terrible had i known the fallout would have been this bad i would have done my eyes before the base but i'll just clean it up later okay that does not look half as bad as what i imagined it um i'm happy i'm happy with this pigmentation and i'm happy with the color it showed up really well on my eyes i just hope it doesn't like fade away in just a bit of time like the powder did so i actually wanted to use this red shade in the crease uh, but i think that's going to look too bridal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this purple shade in the crease it has quite a bit of shimmer and i never use shimmer shades in my crease but i'm hoping this will look okay <laughs> everything is just coming on my cheek it's not coming on my lid can you guys see this and even the foundation is moving quite a bit the foundation has moved from here here it's creased here i mean i i know it costs really less and i know i can't judge it very harshly but just because something costs really less doesn't mean it is allowed to be absolute crap i mean i might might as well like spend a bit more money and get something better like for instance i recently tried out a foundation which i am going to post about soon that cost 150 bucks and it was really good it wasn't bad in fact it was good it was not not bad it was a decent foundation which lasted a good 4 5 hours it did crease but it performed really well and the shade match was amazing now i've got a crazy fallout from this look so i'm going to try and get rid of that oh do you see the redness oh my god what is this doing to my skin i'm so scared should i just leave this video in between because you know my this area is still itching but the itching is lesser so i'm just making it through this video but oh my god what the hell was this you know like the skin's completely red when i'm removing uh, the base makeup from there so this eye is done i'm quickly going to go and do the other eye off camera Okay guys so I'm back I've done the eye shadow on the other eye as well um I must say I'm very very disappointed uh with Blue Heaven and their products they do not perform well at all I'd highly recommend spending a few extra bucks and getting something else because till now whatever I've used from Blue Heaven has been really really bad and my skin is itching and i'm quite concerned about what will happen when i remove this makeup i will be updating if something goes wrong on my instagram so make sure you follow me there my instagram id is lisha butta so moving on to eyeliner so for eyeliner i got the gala of london black eyeliner i think this was about 45 rupees uh, this was 75 rupees the consistency of this is so runny I'm really scared uh, about getting this in my eye because it's so runny. I'm sure I'll just get right into my eye. So I'm done with the liner. It wasn't that bad. The consistency was very runny and I was very scared that it'll bleed into my eye. Luckily that didn't happen. Now moving on to the mascara again. I have a Blue Heaven mascara for that. This is what the product looks like and this cost me rupees 125. So I didn't buy any brushes or tools. I'm using my regular Vega curler. So my eyelashes are clumping together with this mascara. There's no definition to my lashes, no volume whatsoever. If only I could tell you how frustrated and how tired I am of this look already. These products require so much of effort and it's so not worth it and just look, I mean 
can you see how orange my brush is looking right now? This doesn't look like a foundation. It looks like I've swirled it into some blush. This was the color of the foundation on my face right now. And I think this will be the color of my skin when I freaking remove it. Moving on to lashes, I'm going to use these Miss Claire lashes. I got them for rupees 160, but I think locally in stores they're available for much cheaper because I remember buying Miss Claire lashes. These, those are probably my first lashes that I ever bought and they were about 50 bucks in local stores. This is what the pair of lash looks like. So I didn't buy an eyelash glue because honestly, I didn't want to risk it with my eyes. So I'm going to use my uh, duo lash glue. Okay. Um, so the mascara is not waterproof. It's coming on my finger and it's been quite a while since I applied it. So it should have dried by now, but it's still wet. I don't like these lashes at all. They're so flimsy and certainly not worth 160 rupees. Okay guys, so I finally have the lashes on. I'm finally done with eye makeup. My mood really dipped because I was struggling so much with the products I had. I didn't like anything so far. I think the liner was still okay, but it wasn't that great to be very honest. Um, it took forever to dry and I was getting it on my fingers and whatnot. But anyway, let's move on to the cheeks. So I did not get any contouring product because by the time I was checking out, it had completely gone out of stock and I did not want to buy those kits just for the contouring product because I had already gotten a blush and um, a highlighter separately. So I'm just going to use my usual contouring product. I'm going to use the Nykaa Contour and Conquer Duo and you can just look from the smile on my face how happy I am to be finally using a product I like on my face. Guys, my under eye area is creasing so badly. I've already powdered my face and my under eye almost 10 times. I'm not even kidding. Every time I went off camera, I've just been powdering my face and I'm finally going to give up because there's nothing that can salvage this look. The foundation has also uh, broken down. Like it's gotten patchy. It's gone right in, like it's, it's settled right into my pores. Uh, I mean, for the cheeks, I'm going to use the Blue Heaven Diamond Blush. So on Nykaa's website, there were crazy shades uh, in this blush. Um, I did not want to take a risk and I went for a very neutral color. I actually quite like how it looks. I hope it looks equally well on the cheeks. So it looked very neutral in the pan, but it's very coral red. And it has a hint of, um, it has a sheen of gold, which I don't quite mind. It looks nice. Not bad. I like the blush. So even the mascara is actually running. The mascara is supposed to be waterproof, but it's not even drying up. It's constantly running and it's bleeding. It's, it's a mess. Moving on to the highlighter, we finally have a brand other than Blue Heaven. So the cheapest highlighter I could find was this Illuminating Stick by Insight. Remember, we used the primer by Insight as well. So I got a rose gold shade, which looked quite pretty online. Wow, I really love the packaging. It is so pretty. So one side has the rose gold illuminating stick. I love the color. I think it's going to complement my skin tone really well. This cost rupees 220 and I'm really happy with the packaging. Wow. Not bad. Wow, this looks so nice. So the blending is a bit difficult because the product is slightly on the drier side. It's not very creamy but it requires a bit of effort for sure but i think it blends well with your fingers because you know with your fingers you can warm up the product a bit and it looks quite nice i'm also going to use this for highlighting uh, my brow bone it's 
this looks nice so even though my face looks like a hot mess but i really liked uh, this illuminating kit by inside this is quite a nice brand i like the primer as well i'm hoping it wasn't the primer that is itching my face it really could be anything right about now now coming to the lips i have this uh, blue heaven lipstick it's a very very pretty pink coral color with no pigmentation whatsoever so this is like a tinted lip balm it's very glossy has a slight shimmer hardly gives any um pigmentation but i really like the color i think it looks very nice and especially on college going girls this is going to be a very flattering shade however it smells really weird it has this powder fragrance which i'm not very fond of especially right underneath my nose so we're almost done with this look the last product is the makeup fixing spray i got this one by swiss beauty now this actually has pretty decent reviews online so i'm really excited to try it out and this cost me rupees 250 i believe Now I really like how the spray looks on my face uh, especially because the foundation was breaking down but it's really blended it all nicely but it smells very harsh it smells of soap and as soon as I open my eyes it's stung so I don't know I'm I'm not very happy with this product so overall even though I love the way it looks on my face but because of the smell I certainly won't be using it again and I wouldn't recommend it to you either because it has a very strong soapy smell which is not at all pleasant and I think it will irritate you throughout the day So I've brought the camera a bit closer so that you can see exactly how the makeup looks even though after doing all that effort it's still looking decent but I think these products were absolute and whatever i could do was with a lot of effort i had to constantly redo my base my under eyes my eye makeup the only thing that i really liked out of all these products was the inside highlighter i would never ever recommend any of these products because trust me whatever amount you're spending you're just putting it down the drain none of them perform well and my face is still itching i cannot wait to take this makeup off and really see what's wrong with my skin i'm really really hoping is just some mild irritation which will settle down once i do my skin care i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please hit the like button i really put in a lot of effort into this it was quite a journey with this makeup look and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with all my new videos and before you go anywhere comment down below and tell me if you want me to do more such similar videos maybe with other websites or if you have any other cool ideas i'd love to hear them Don't forget to check out some of my other makeup content as well and I'll see you guys soon.